Hey guys, this is SP737 and welcome back today to another video inside of my awesome world. And uh, yes, I am joined I think with Hector the Chicken, but I don't know where he is. He's usually hiding somewhere in my bedroom, but he's not, oh he's not in here either. Okay, maybe he's somewhere else in the house. <laughs> it's started to become a thing where I seem to be playing hide and seek with him before every uh, before every episode. I wonder if he's uh, he's gone onto the balcony, I can't see him anywhere. Um, hopefully he hasn't run away. I, I mean, I think I'm sure he's just hiding somewhere in my house. I've got bored in my bedroom and having a little, a little look around. He's not in the bathroom, is he? Uh, just having a shower, he needs one. <laughs> don't tell him I said that. <laughs> oh, where is Hector the chicken? Maybe he's up here in the attic, which I don't ever suggest going into the attic uh, because yes, there are a lot of spiders uh, lurking about in this attic. Well, most of the time anyway. It seems like uh, at, uh, today uh, we're, we're okay with uh, spiders. Yeah, we're alright today with spiders, thankfully. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, we've cleaned up all the cobwebs. They've obviously uh, they've not come back for a bit. Right. Uh, I wouldn't. I hope he's not gone in Fred's bedroom. I mean, I don't think Fred would be too happy to have a chicken in here. Uh, oh, he's here. <laughs> Hello Hector, you alright, eh? Well, Fred, Fred isn't here at the moment, so I sh I'm sure you'll get away with it, but I, I probably, I recommend you don't go in his, his bedroom too much, yeah, maybe explore a different part of his room, and uh, look at that, should we have a, a munch of his cake? There we go, let's have a little, uh, you just walked all over it just before I ate it, thank you very much Hector, but not to worry, not to worry, yeah, you, you have a little, uh, little waltz around here and, uh, and have a little explore of the house. And go back to my room when you're done. But anyway, we'll go and see Fred. We'll not we'll not mention chicken to him. I don't know if he likes chickens too much. Um, but <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, we're going to do our challenge to uh, to get our reward fish today. So today's challenge. Good morning, Fred. By the way, are you all right? Yep, good. You look you don't look too bad. Hey, you need to put your eyebrow again. You've got a money brow going. Uh, but yeah, use your tree farm. Okay, that's that. That sounds easy enough. Uh, if you don't know, I have a a tree farm. Uh, over in the redstone factory, and uh, and yeah, this uh, I just have to harvest it, and then it collects all the saplings and the apples for me, uh, and I, I don't have to like wait around and, and collect them all a bit. It picks them up for me, which makes things a lot easier. Uh, so it's right here. Uh, so yeah, all I have to do is just get out the old axe uh, to use the tree farm, and yeah, we just got to get uh, get mining. And also, uh, there's a roof on here, so uh, the uh, the trees will only grow to be about eight high, I think, eight tall. So that way, I can always reach the tops, because you know you get like great oak trees, and it's really annoying because you have to build up to reach the top of them and stuff like that. Well, that won't happen uh, with this tree farm. You can always reach it, which is always uh, a lot more helpful as well. So as you can see, you know, uh, even then, it never even seems to reach the top. Uh, can I quite reach the glass? See, I can't quite reach the glass, but it'll never go above that glass anyway, which is, uh, is always handy. And this is kind of the whole reason I built the uh, the redstone factory with glass roof and everything like this, is because I was like, oh, well, I need to put a roof and I want to make a tree farm, so I'll, I'll just make it into a big factory like this. That was kind of <laughs> the starting idea. And uh, yeah, I've, I've not looked back since, eh? It's been a, it's been a very useful thing, and I've, uh, I've slowly added more things to it. Uh, there's still a few more things I'd like to add. Uh, maybe the next uh, thing I'll do is like an automatic cactus farm. Not exactly sure how you do it, but it can't be too hard, can it? And I can AFK that and get loads of uh, cactus as well. So uh, that should all just start dropping down and uh, it'll go down the wall to go through some redstone system and, uh, and yeah, fill up this uh, this chest. And in fact, we can even put down, we picked up a few saplings and a bit of wood, so we'll put that uh, back in there. As you can see, you stand these ones. Some of them land on there, which is a little bit annoying. Not a lot I can do about that, but most of them, as you can see, like these ones, uh, we'll we'll just drop in if they uh, drop a sapling. So that's that's not too bad. But yeah, we've uh, we've successfully used the uh, the tree farm. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's go and uh, and uh, get our reward fish for uh, for doing that. But that's that's another challenge out of the way. So yeah, we'll go and pick up the reward fish, and then we'll go and uh, we'll go and get a dog uh, from the dog house. And, uh, and yeah, then today we're going to be continuing on with uh, with the um, the creeper cafe. So thank you, Fred. Uh, nice to see the old tree farm getting used. Oh, I should have replanted the sapling. Sorry, Fred. I, I, didn't do that. No, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. I promise. <laughs> I completely forgot. Uh, yeah, so that's, that needs to happen. <laughs> Fred, do you think you could replant them for me, actually? I won't hear me now, will uh, But yeah, we're going to be continuing the Creeper Cafe. We've got, like, the kitchen area to do, where all the uh, the mobs... Oh, they're all downstairs, are they? Uh, yeah, where all the mobs are. <laughs> snowy. It's like Snowy's here, and then they're all grouped together. Come on. I'll mix mix up a bit, you know. Make make friends. Lily and Snowy. Yeah, you have a little chat. Right, anyway, let's see which uh, which dog we're going to be uh, taking. Today, it is going to be Thunder. Okay, Thunder, you're coming with me. Uh, so let's uh, put that back in the randomizer. And uh, where are you, Thunder? Are you in the corner? Uh, you are, right? Yeah, come on then, Thunder. You uh, no need to be shy. No need to be sheepish. We're all friends here. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, let's uh, let's get down. So the Creeper Cafe is actually uh, all the way over at the other. Uh the other side of uh, like the uh, the towny area in my world, I suppose. Um, yeah, I do. Um, 
Uh, yeah, I also do need to finish off a bit that I was doing in the last episode, just the inside of the cafe where all the tables and stuff are, that also uh, needs to be done, so, uh, yeah, we've not got too much to do, but, um, well, it'll last us all episode, trust me, probably, probably take, uh, you know, be another long episode, like they always seem to be, I always seem to end up taking longer and getting sidetracked and stuff like that, don't I, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, hunting for a chicken was a bit of a waste of uh, time, playing hide and seek, but it was a bit, a bit of fun, wasn't it, you know, see if I can find <laughs> Hector in, uh, in the house, uh, right, so anyway, uh, you can just about see the green green roof in the distance if I just put my my crosshair on it there you go uh, it's just uh, yeah just past this uh, the jewelry store actually there we go so here is the creeper cafe and uh, yeah let's get on with the uh, the rest of the building so uh, in here we're going to be uh, we're going to be building some of the tables which are going to consist of the iron bars and uh, and also um, some uh, some like uh, uh, lime carpet on top as like so that's how the tables are going to work. And also if I go ahead and uh, get out some rails, uh, so we'll make the rails go in that direction like that, and the door on the end. Uh, so that's going to make a bit of a seat. And then you'll see I've got a lot of mine carts here. So we then put a mine cart on there. So then you can. You can sit at the table. There you go. There you go. And <laughs> that's uh, that's how it uh, how it works. Uh, so let's go and uh, do the other one as well. So I need to make a little bit more space on here, really. Uh, so there we go. Uh, if I go ahead and put two rails down. Oh, no, they... Oh, yeah. Mine away that one. And then go ahead and put a door at the edge. This door is actually useful because it stops the minecart, like, floating off as well, which uh, always helps. And then I, I, exactly on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. So uh, two rails... Oh, no. Mine away the right one. That would be, be a good start, wouldn't it? And then, yeah, door on the edge there. And then uh, two there. So this is a little a little table for two here. And uh, it's going to be quite a uh, a few tables all over the place. And then, yeah, after that, the downstairs is the uh, the next part to be uh, to be done. So we'll put that on there. And then uh, I just need a couple more minecarts. Maybe I should just do all the minecarts at the end, actually. That's probably going to be uh, a little bit easier, isn't it? Uh, so, yeah, I'm also going to have a, uh, a bit of a... Um, a table here, but it's going to be like uh, like this shape, and uh, this is going to go. I don't know actually how close I want it there. Do I want a gap of one, or maybe I yeah, we'll go a gap a gap of two. If I go and get out my pickaxe, uh, just so that you know you you don't feel too claustrophobic to the table next year. You know you want a bit of a bit of uh, privacy, don't you? <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, we'll leave that empty like that, and then yeah, if I go ahead and put all the carpet down above that, uh, like so, That's uh, that works out nicely, and then, oh, okay, <laughs> we don't want any tables up there, please, you know, keep them down low, and then if we go ahead and put uh, one here, uh, like that, maybe one here, uh, one here, and one here, and then we can mine out uh, these, in fact, it might be just quicker to go, yeah, like like this, it is a lot quicker, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I can finally, I can put the uh, the doors down as the, uh, like the backs of the uh, the chair, uh, so we go ahead and do uh, just a couple more tables uh, over here. So if we maybe go for a table, I'm trying to think where, I don't want to be too close. If we go for uh, the railings in like that, and then we'll put the iron bars there, and then put two more seats here, and then a seat as It's very repetitive, isn't it? But <laughs> we'll, we'll be doing something fresh in a second, as, as long as I've, I've just got one more table to do after this, and then it'll be uh, going downstairs uh, to the fresh place. I uh, might even just st sit Thunder uh, up here, uh, just so that he doesn't get into any any trouble downstairs, because... We could be, uh, we could be dealing with mobs a little bit, so I don't want, you know, I don't want him to have to, you know, start attacking them and then everything to go wrong and he to get hurt and, you know what I mean? I, I mean, I can deal with the mobs, not too much problem, but I don't know if, um, if Thunder can or not, you know. He's, he's good, but I don't want him to get hurt. That's, that's my thought. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna see... Don't make me, don't, don't run away now. No, no, I, I should have been quiet. He's been, he's been listening to me. <laughs> right, so, uh, yeah, all that's left to do now is just get down all of these, uh, these minecart seats. So, let's do that. So, uh, these four are going to go here. Let's uh, just jump on the table. Don't do this when the customers are here, though, because they, uh, they don't seem to like that too much. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, just a few more uh, minecarts to place down. So yeah, this is one, so if you were to sit here, you'd get a lovely view of the, um, of the ocean. Uh, so that's, that's always a nice, uh, a nice place to sit, to sit. Or if, you know, if you're in, you know, in a family, we've got a table for four here as well. Uh, a couple, so there's a couple of tables of four. Uh, in fact, that is a table for four as well, but if you don't like looking at each other, that's <laughs> a little bit more expensive to sit there. Uh, right, so yeah, this is, <laughs> the Creeper Cafe has been completed, at least the upstairs. Now it's time to get the kitchen sorted, which is, uh, is going to be down here. So let's, uh, let's head down to the dark depth and, oh, you're early. We're, we're not taking applications yet for any workers, Mr. Zombie, but we will later, okay? Uh, yeah, so it's going to be pretty pretty dark in here. Uh, so that's the idea of this place, actually. But for now, I am just going to light it up a little bit, okay? Uh, but yeah, the, the idea of this place is that it's, it's dark and, and spooky and everything. I'm going to have to go and actually get some... Um, 
some items from upstairs before we continue. Uh, I'm going to need uh, some redstone stuff, because um, I'm going to do some... Um, I'm going to put the lights in first. So th there will be lights, but you can turn them on and off with uh, redstone. Uh, yeah, with a bit of a redstone contraption. Actually, I don't need that lime green wool. I think that was just there from last episode. So we'll put that back, and uh, we'll get back inside before uh, anything uh, follows me. I should maybe have some doors on here, perhaps. Hmm, I never thought about that. It's a bit of an open open way in, and I don't know how much I like the idea of it being open for things to just walk. No, well, you know, because creepers and stuff should be able to come in and, and stuff. So, yeah, we'll, we'll not worry too much about it. All uh, right, what I want to do anyway is uh, find the middle two blocks. I think so. I have kind of mined out a bit of a tunnel around the outside of this room as well, so that I, I kind of know where I'm going. That's That was my, uh, my, my big thing. So yeah, there is a bit of a, a tunnel of sorts around here where I'd, I'll sort of snake along the redstone uh, just so that I don't... Um, yeah, otherwise it could be a lot more painful to do, basically. <laughs> uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, put that there. And uh, we're going to do a, a redstone lamp in every corner. I might add some more in, in a bit. I don't know, but I don't know exactly if I'll do that or where I'll where I'll put them. It just depends how light it is with the redstone lamps and whether I'll need more to, uh, to make it even lighter. So let's go ahead and put that there. So now, if we go back outside, uh, we can go ahead and uh, and do all the rest. So I need to get some, I get the levers out as well. So these are the two light switches. This one will control that side of the room, and this one will control that side of the room. So if I get out the repeaters first and bring those out of, oh, can I, can I, no, nope. what am I banging my head on? Okay, I'm banging my head on, on solid stone. That's quite painful, isn't it? <laughs> so we'll mine out that so we can actually jump and place down uh, the repeaters. So if I put a bit of redstone coming out of there and a bit of redstone coming out there, so that these are now two separate, uh, separate things. That lever controls this side and that lever controls this side. It may look like it's not connected, but trust me, it is. Look. See, I turn that, turn that, but the other side isn't on. So it, you know, two separate currents. It works. You may have been doubting me, but doubt me no more. All uh, right, I do need to get more of this uh, away so I can actually get through it. And I think if I get out some torches as well, light this up because I don't want things spawning in the walls. Oh no, we don't want them spawning around all the mechanical areas. They'll just, they'll just tamper with the lights and everything. Won't they? No, we don't want any of that. Uh, we want them spawning in the kitchen so that they can, uh, they can do the work for us. <laughs> um, right. So okay. So it's over here is where it needs to go. And then I think the best way uh, to go about this is to get a, uh, a repeater and make it go into that and then the redstone comes out the other side. So that when that's on, it'll light it up nicely, won't it? Yeah, perfect. And we'll even put some uh, some more torches along here. And uh, yeah, this is going to reach all the way over here. And I think maybe just do a, a similar kind of a thing. And what this does, uh, putting the repeater in as well, it sort of re-strengthens the current. Can I, if I, can I mine this away and then, I, yeah, I can jump above it then. That's going to be easier, isn't it? Uh, in fact, no, I don't need to actually go any further, um, unless I do some more lights. But, yeah, I don't need to worry too much about that. Okay, never mind. So, yeah, we just need to do the uh, the exact same thing on the other side now. So, uh, redstone all the way along there. I'm kind of glad I did this tunnel, because as it was when I was actually doing it, it was kind of tricky anyway. Um, because... Uh, there's like ladders like right here and stuff so I was kind of I kept messing up anyway so it's probably best that I did it now otherwise you know it just would have been you know a painful thing for you to watch you know, you know how much I'm against uh, you making you watch things painfully as, as, as much as pretty much every video is probably painful for you you know I'm always trying to clamp down on uh, on stuff like that <laughs> uh, so there we go so another bit of stone there so hopefully uh, if all goes well I'm just gonna put another torch up here as well if all goes well, the uh, the redstone lamps should work perfectly. So let's uh, let's pop back in here and uh, let's see. So that's turned on that side, and this one has turned on that side. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all of these torches now. We've, we should be lighting up. Hmm. I'm I'm starting to think maybe a couple more redstone lamps would be nice. How how long is this room actually? You come to think of it. Let's have a little see. So it's. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So if we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I think, and then mine out that, uh, that should be, that is in the center, isn't it? Yeah, if we do that on both sides, because that is actually like a perfect, perfect thing, and I can, I can plumb them in as well, uh, just so we have a, a little bit of extra lighting in if we need, but those lights aren't currently working, as you can see, they're out, out of service at the moment, but That'll be a handy thing to do, but what we'll do now, because as it's a kitchen, we'll uh, we'll get the cooker done, okay? Uh, you know, it's more of an industrial kitchen than anything else, so, you know, it's going to have proper proper facilities and everything. 
So uh, I'm going to go and put that like that and that like that. So this is going to be like one of the, like the fryer kind of things, I suppose, uh, like a deep fat fryer kind of thing, uh, like that. And that'll, that'll that'll collect all the fumes and stuff. In fact, we'll have we'll have two of those side by side here. Uh, so you know you can do your your fast food cooking, your burgers and all that uh, that good stuff. Uh, oh, that's going to be annoying now. That is going to be annoying because. That's going to be that. Uh, no, uh, right. Oh, we'll think about that. We'll come back to that, I think. Because, uh, yeah, I don't want anything uh, to look stupid. You know, the lights have to be... Uh, yeah, we'll put putting the extra lights in place when we when we built the, the rest. I think that's that's the best way to go about it. So, uh, this is going to be uh, like um, like an, uh, one of those cooking things. You know, they see, like, with all, like, the, the hobs and stuff like that on it. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put that like this. Like that. And then this like this. So, it's it's kind of different on both sides and um, there's one bit up and one bit down and then I'm going to put slabs uh, along the bottom here like that and then what I'm going to do for here is I'm actually going to mine this out and replace it with slabs okay so all the way along uh, up like so <laughs> I'm going to put slabs uh, in like this and uh, yeah just put that there and then over the top as oh no I need to put that in first and then yeah over the top is also going to be uh, slabs this is yeah one of like the cooker things uh, that you use uh, so and then yeah over the top of this I'm going to go ahead and get some uh, some carpet uh, like this so there we go so that's going to go all the way, uh, the way around, and then yeah, above that, there's going to be another thing that sort of collects the uh, the fumes. If you like, I always keep doing that with the cabs. I did it, I did it a few times actually. <laughs> but yeah, another thing that sort of uh, collects all your uh, your fumes for you. Uh, so I'll first put in the slabs. Uh, whoops, that wasn't what meant to happen. Um, <laughs> you've got to be careful. You get your slabs in the right place, haven't you? In fact, if I go ahead and put. I put like steps and I I like it how you, you place them on the carpet and then they like go straight up there. I always think that's pretty <laughs> pretty cool effect. So yeah, this is going to come all the way along there. And then at the end, I'm going to put a stairs there and a stairs there. There we go. So you've got like that big thing there. Maybe I should have something in the middle. Uh, now we'll, we'll not worry about that too much uh, at the moment. We'll just get on to uh, onto the next thing, and the next thing is going to be like a uh, some more like some like hobs kind of a thing, I suppose is the uh, the best way to uh, to explain it. So uh, if I go ahead and get out some light grey stained uh, clay, and we'll bring that across like that and that there, and then I go and get a few cauldrons. So this is going to be a bit of a washing up area as well. Uh, so. Uh, I need my tripwire hooks. There we go. So we're going to put a tripwire hook. So these are like your, your taps. And then we'll also put an item frame around them like that and like that. There we go. Uh, so yeah, they, they, they'll uh, let a bit of water in it. I think what we'll do, do is have a bit of water in this one. And this can be an empty and this can be like the drying place, I suppose. And if I go ahead and get some uh, some activator rails, they're kind of like the hobs. Yeah, near enough. Near enough looks like it, doesn't it? <laughs> As good as it's going to get. And then, uh, yeah, well, again, we'll have uh, a thing which collects the fumes up like that. Um, and, yeah, next things next is uh, in this center thing, I'm going to just put another, like, like kind of a cooker thing like that, I suppose. Uh, so uh, I'm going to get some black stained clay out. And uh, we're going to go, because this is going to be two away. So one, two, three, four. I think that's that's about a good size. And then it's going to come, come, come across three. And then going to go another four like that. Okay. And so next what I need to do is uh, put down these stone brick stairs like this. In fact, I'll need to do the floor as well first. So uh, this is going to have to be replaced with um, uh, stone brick slabs again, just like the other one. Uh, so it's under underneath. Uh, so if I go ahead and place all of those down. And yeah, I think we do need to, after this, we'll plumb in the extra the extra redstone lamps. Because it's, it's not too dark, but I want it to be a little bit lighter if possible, you know? You, don't, you can never have too too much light, I always say. Oh no, that's actually the wrong way. They need to be the upside down stairs, don't they? So like that, perfect. And then what we can do is we can just put them all like that. Okay, so now again, I, uh, I just need to do this. And I think with this, I'll do it like, let me just see, okay, well, I tell you what, if I put the carpet down, then I can't place it in the wrong place, can I? Because uh, I'm, I'm trying to like not place it on the, um, on the, uh, on, on this, this block here, but if I do the carpet, then you can't do that. And <laughs> if I could place carpet in the right place, that would also, uh, also help a bit, wouldn't it? So we'll get rid of that carpet. And rid of that carpet. I'm just wondering, am I going to have enough slabs now? That'd be a shame if I run out. Um, okay, so that's actually in the wrong place. I don't think I'm going to quite have enough slabs, actually. That's a sad times, isn't it? Uh, so we'll put that like that. We'll mine away uh, that. So I could do with actually making a few... Oh, no. We've got another 42. Fear no more. Fear no more. In the in the old back pocket, we have plenty. <laughs> that's, uh, that's good news. Uh, so, yeah, we'll get all of that along there. And then finally... 
Uh, this fills in like so. Not quite. Like so. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> so where where would you put extra light? I think you'd put them you'd put them here, wouldn't you? I think so. If we can somehow wire that in, we've got a couple of redstone lamps there. Yeah, if we can wire them in, that that'd be an extra few lights that would look quite good. And then maybe like one here. Yeah, I think one one here would uh, would work. So if we swap out uh, that, if I go ahead and get that back, and uh, I've got some, yes, there's a stone, we'll, uh, we'll patch it all up nicely, uh, so we'll put that like that, uh, and then maybe on the other side, uh, where's this one, so, it's that, I can't, I can't see, <laughs> it's got this big cooker in the way, uh, so we'll put that uh, right in line with these, okay, so that wouldn't actually work out too well, it might be alright keeping it there, I mean, you wouldn't really notice they're not symmetrical, would you? No, I, th I think that might work out. Uh, so let's have a little a little look, see what we can wire up, see what we can work out around here. So this first one should be quite straightforward, I would have thought. Um, just got to mine that out and then put a, a repeater in, I think. Uh, so there we go. That should light up that one, no problema. And then we can easily just do the same thing uh, on the other side as well. So let's, uh, let's do that. Uh, so that goes repeater there. And then, oh, no, I went that. I can stay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and then, yeah, and uh, finally, uh, what I want to do is have these connect up to that bit in the middle. Okay, so this could prove to be tricky. If Is it even going to be possible? I don't, so I, I do wonder if I'm going to be too near the surface to do it. Well, we'll have to try. Um, maybe if we connect it from here. Okay, so let's dig across. Uh, if I dig out this, okay, so that's that's me going into the roof a little bit, uh, but can I, can this be dug out? Aha, okay, so we can actually dig out that, that's alright then, so we should uh, just about have enough uh, enough space, but we've got to try and find it as well, that's that's not going to be a given, is it? Uh, so we're going to try and find out, where did I put these lamps? <laughs> uh, let's have a little, a little see, where are we? Okay, right, we're in, a, we're in an area, we're, n we're not far away actually, I don't think, let's have a little see. Okay, so we've actually just got to go to uh, to here. Oh, and there's a redstone lamp there. Oh, this is gonna be a spanner in the works, isn't it? We're gonna have we're gonna have our wires being crossed here at some point. <laughs> right. So if I just dig out all of this, uh, and let's uh, let's see if we can work out uh, a way to connect all of it. Right. We don't want to go in there. We want to go in here. Um. Yeah. Right. So uh, if I go ahead and bring some redstone across here, there we go. And then that yeah that needs to uh, wire up like this. And then I kind of need to try and avoid, yeah, avoid the redstone torch completely. Um, what I need, yeah, what I need to do is I need to put a block. If we put a block that I'll recognise, um, a, a unique block, black stained clay, yeah, put that there, and then going into that a repeater. Okay, this is this is working out. This will work. I believe it or not, it'll actually work. Um, <laughs> uh, so we'll mind that way. So uh, going into this block, I'm going to put a repeater. And then that should light up, and then we do the same thing for the other side, and it'll be it'll be perfect. It'll work just like a charm. And I've actually got something else to do down uh, down in the other place, so uh, I'll just I'll just wing it again. I'll just try and find it. It might be easier if I do it from the bottom. Now nah, we'll just we'll just go in all guns blazing again and hope that we uh, hope that we come across it. <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna dig this way a little bit, and then oh, I need to go a little bit higher actually, don't I? Yeah, one block higher. So I need to dig from here. And, uh, and yeah, go across and hopefully uh, I can come across. Yeah, all these wires, you never know what's going into all these wires in a building, do you? Eh? There's all sorts of bits, uh, twixing and tween in. Right, so let's have a little see. Uh, we must be near something. Um, let's have a little, a little look. Okay, so that's just where we want to be. Uh, so if we get rid of this dirt, and uh, and then again, uh, just do the exact uh, exact same idea. So go ahead and put black stained clay there. Uh, I'm going to have to move this so I can put a repeater down. There we go. And then, yeah, redstone uh, just coming across here. So if I get rid of that, hopefully the uh, the current just about reaches far enough as well. Should do. I don't know, actually. Will it do? Because um, it's a little bit round the houses. No, it doesn't quite. But if I can just make it a little bit more efficient, it might just. It might just do it. Uh, so let's have a little, uh, let's see. Oh, I've just taken out a load of the roof. <laughs> Not to worry. <laughs> uh, so let's uh, do all of that. And uh, I, I still don't think it's going to quite reach, is it? Oh, it just reached. Perfect. Okay, so if I go ahead and patch that up, everything patched up. Uh, so yeah, the the light should all uh, just work perfectly. Hopefully, we're about to find out if it if they do work. <laughs> uh, so just fill in all of that, and uh, yeah. So currently, all the lights are on, and uh, now if I go ahead and flick this switch and this switch up, they all go off. 
Perfect. Okay, right. Well, what I want to do is I just flick on this half. Uh, I need to just make a couple of like storage rooms. Uh, so if I just do these uh, just uh, just here like this. Uh, so these are going to be filled in with uh, bookcases. going to have some doors on the front. So uh, four bookcases like that. And then a door there and a door there. Uh, there we go. And then, yeah, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. It's a little bit darker over here. I haven't put the lights on, you see. But <laughs> I kind of like being able to control it by a light switch. It's quite it's quite cool, isn't it? Uh, so there we go. And uh, now all that's left to, to hope is that we get some uh, some mobs spawning in here. But, yeah, we'll leave it dark. So this is the kitchen where the night workers go. Where the, uh, yeah, the, uh, the mobs go. And look at that. It's lovely and light outside. So... <gasps> My goodness, you're early. You're early. Where did you... You can stay there, I suppose. <laughs> but yeah, that is the Creeper Cafe. So, yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty impressed with it. I think it's come along quite well, hasn't it? I, I think it's a good thing. Hopefully I can fit all this in. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I don't want to overload the inventory. Um, so, yeah, it's been a, a two-episode, but it's certainly a pretty, a pretty cool little... Um, a little place you can come and uh, you can come and eat, you know, you enjoy your meal. And oh, I forgot about you. Sorry, uh, sorry, uh, Thunder. You've been waiting patiently. And then if you're a worker, you go down here and they say, "Are we gonna have any anything in here?" And no, nobody's here yet. But obviously, you know, it's not time to open yet, so there's nobody in here. But there will be no doubt mob spawning at some other time. I just can't seem to be able to show it in this episode, unfortunately. But <laughs> that was the whole plan behind it. Uh, but yeah, if, as I say, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and also subscribe if you're new around here for daily videos of Minecraft. And hopefully, I will see you guys next time.